Reading through the Ace Science Fiction Specials Series 1, we are now up to the 35th of 38 books. There are also eight, I call them apocryphal books, books that were purchased for the Ace Science Fiction Specials by Terry Carr, the editor, but did not include the title Ace Science Fiction Special on the top. After 34 straight novels with Leo and Diane Dillon covers, we now have a cover from Davis Meltzer. We'll see him again as we look at the science fiction specials. Humanity Prime by Bruce McAllister, 1971. This is a first novel. Humanity Prime was used by McAllister as a thesis for his creative writing degree. We are immersed, pun intended, on the sea world of Prime. Humans have adapted to the ocean over 3,000 years. A cyborg spaceship brought them to this planet as they were fleeing Earth, escaping an invasion by aliens called Chromanths. After 3,000 years, this cyborg spaceship is deeply disturbed. It reminds me of Tchaikovsky's Children of Time, where we have Avrana Kern of Kern's world orbiting the planet as an AI. The threat in this novel that pushes it forward is that these reptile-like aliens, chromanths, may be coming to the planet to seek out humans. That's the best I can do for this novel. The plot is incomprehensible. The prose? Word salad. The names of the people of Prime are supposed to have meaning, but here's the name for the cyborg spaceship. Brainy Brain. And they use combinations of words like lunatic talk. Often you feel like you're reading baby talk. Let me read a few quotes so you get an idea. Here's a sentence from page 109. How many men have ever died with the fishy picture in their soul and their women clinging to them in pinkest love? And here's a longer passage from page 140. And I will leave you with one last informative piece. The constituent jelly beans of all matter constitute veritable Magellanic clouds of probability which, while being epicoralized at a specific locus in space, are in a sense in the complete cosmos. Our body, epicoralized at a specific locus, is in variality via the infinitely small jelly beans which constitute it, not restricted to one locus in others. What we term our psych soul in the cosmos of energies constitutes a Magellanic cloud of probabilities within which the occurrences of the complete universe are echoed and in a sense themselves occur. If you understand that, you're doing way better than I am. Our protagonist is Fish Singer. Through him, we discover the psychic connection that all life has in the ocean. There is a connection to history. They can experience people who've lived in the past within their psyche. Of importance to them, for what reason I don't know, is experiences of death. This cloud of souls that they are in try to guide them. Early in the novel, Fish Singer goes to shore. It is a very unusual thing for someone to do on that world and talks to Brainy Brain, the cyborg spaceship. He discovers that they're being investigated by the Chromanths. A battle ensues, and psychically he defeats them. Then he returns to the ocean. And from that point, I'm not sure if I can tell you any more about the plot, because I just don't understand it. I felt like I was reading about Avatar Way of Water, but that movie would be like a Nobel-winning piece of literature compared to what I was reading. On Wikipedia, they don't even mention this novel except in his bibliography. Thankfully, McAllister gained some traction later on in his career with poetry and other writing. I give this one 2 out of 10. Not recommended. I would love for someone to comment on McAllister's work. And if I've completely missed the boat, pun intended, on this novel, let me know. Until next time, keep swimming in your books. Oh, that one's a bad one. Keep reading.